what's up YouTube? So today I just want to say good morning. First of all, um, I'm in the shop. Uh, well, I've been in the shop for a little bit. Um, if some of you guys already know, I've been having a small little issue with the nozzle checks. It's not major. It still will print, but I like it to be perfect. So if you want to know what I'm doing, stay tuned right after this intro. Thank you for watching that intro. Uh, first things first, I would like to thank everybody coming to my channel. If you are a newcomer, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button down there so you can stay up with us. Or a returning, thank you for coming back. I appreciate all the love. My sublimation uh, printer has been giving me nozzle check. That's what it is. So um, I just want to show it to you if I didn't show it to you before. If you can see that. Uh, also my second one, the same thing. So it's not bad. It's not bad at all, but it bothers me because I don't want it to clog up even more. And if there is a piece in there that's dried, I don't want it to you know, mess up my printhead. Bought a cleaning solution and I'm hoping that it works. Um, let me get to, I have it posted here. This is the name of the cleaning solution called Wok Wok, Wok Cock, the Wok OK, or whatever you want to call it. Um, the kit is pretty, pretty inexpensive. Um, because I don't have a major clog, uh, I didn't go with the BCH one, which is a heavy duty. I just figured I'd give this a try. Kit does come with some pieces here. It also comes with the liquid. Of course, what else did I have? Well, I had syringes. I brought syringes for my DTF. They come individually packaged. I picked these up at Amazon. These are 20 mLs. So I brought a, a pack of 10. I figure I want to use one for each color of the DTF printer. So I had them already. Uh, also, I also brought, this is just regular uh, airline for a fish tank, just a standard. So they it, the kit does come in one, but I figured I'd get something that's the same. You know, it, it, this is, don't know if you can see that very well. I'm sorry if you can't see it, but it's very small compared to the whole opening on this one. Now, I know this one fits perfectly. Well, let's try their kit. They, it does come with a small little 5 ml uh, syringe in the kit. And everybody, see, it fits perfect. So everybody who actually brought this kit has complaints about uh, the different little fittings come with uh, this fitting. It also comes with this fitting. It also comes with two uh, angle fittings. Two angle fittings in it. And it also comes with, I'm guessing this is just a soak up. It's an absorbent pad, I guess. But it's very thin, so I'm just going to use uh, just regular napkins like I was doing before when I was, uh, you know, trying to clean it out. Uh, I used the Windex method, but the Windex method didn't actually work for me. It did help it out a lot. Um, and I let it soak overnight underneath the print head. And I know people say not to do it, but I mean, I've heard other people say they swear by the Windex. So that's why I tried the Windex. Um, like I said, this printer is only like $230. So if something goes wrong, well, I'm out $230 or I got to buy a new print head that might cost me anywhere from $50 to $100, maybe $150. But these print heads is only four channels. So it's not like the DTF that you're going to spend about $300 for a print head or more. This is my first time ever cleaning a print head. So we're doing this together, guys. Let's see how it goes, right? Either it messes up or it clears it and everything works fine and we're golden. Now I got you at the angle that I want you at. Uh, this cover was actually on there uh, like so. All I did was squeeze this clip here and just pull on the side here to lift it up and it comes out very easily. 
Um, these are your four dampers and your lines. And guys, this is very self-explanatory. I mean, you just unclip, pull them out. You don't have to worry about how, how they go back in. If you want, you could take a picture and then you'll know how they go back in, which color goes in which slot. But if you look at the front of the tank, it tells you the colors, you know, in order. So you will have black, yellow, magenta, cyan. And I don't understand why these tubes are not clear so you can actually see what's in them. Maybe that's something that I might want to do later on in time. Uh, maybe get, you know, this same size hose and rerun new hoses uh, to be able, for me to be able to see what's inside of them. Because right now, with the color that they, they are, there's there's no telling if there's a clot or something inside of it. So you're you're pretty much just, you know, that's just the way it is. So um, I did end up changing the paper towel underneath the printer to a butcher paper because I figured butcher paper might soak it up. Um, I am going to put a piece of uh, folded napkin underneath. I'm sorry if I'm moving the camera. Uh, that's very easy. I'm just going to fold it in three. So fold it over to the middle like you fold in a, a letter. Um, like I said, guys, I, I tried, you know, cleaning the, the print head. I tried a hard cleaning and it's still not taking it out. So I'm not 100% sure if it's actually in the dampers or it's in the head or it's in the line. So I'm just going to do a process of elimination. I'm going to pull a little bit of ink out of every line. I don't care if I waste it at this point because I mean, I'd rather spend 50 something dollars on, you know, some more Cosmo inks and, and be done with it. You know, as long as it comes out clear for me, I'm good with it. Like I said, it's an inexpensive printer. So if something does go wrong, just, you know, you have no other choice either to buy a print head or whatever the case may be. So let me slide this over. I'm pretty sure you guys know how to unlock the head, you know, send something to print and then right before it starts printing, unplug it and you'll see that it's unlocked. So let me just move that to the side. I'm just gonna measure this out so I can put a piece of paper underneath here. And like I said, just fold it three times and then I will place this right under here and I, I don't have it wet. This is the way I was doing it before uh, when I was doing the Windex. I would spray this this whole paper down. I soak it real good with Windex and I let the print head sit on top of it. And it did clean a lot and it made the black channel a lot better, but not to my liking. I still got missing segments, so I am have no other choice but to do this to get perfect. Worst case scenario, the head, the head goes bad. Uh, all right, so once I have this paper in there, I'm not sure if you can see it. Um, I just hold it down and I try to push the print head over it, uh, making sure that it doesn't kink up. It should slide right over it. As you can see, it's got it's trailing a little bit of ink there. And that's another thing, you know, I, I might have to take this print head out in order to, to see or clean underneath it, which they say you're not supposed to, but... Man, I'm to the point that if it's not giving me a clean print, then I'm just gonna buy a new print uh, print head. Or if the print head is too expensive, I'll just get another printer because I need the sublimation printer. Once I did that, I'm gonna take the same napkin I had before, just fold it over here because I have to pull these cartridges out. So to pull them out, you just wanna click on each one of them and they'll pop out. Well, some of them will pop out. There you go. Some of them will pop out. And um, I think we have to remove this as well. That way we can get some of the lines out of here. Now guys, there is a line here from manufacturer telling you, you know, pretty much that's where they align the end of the plastic. So make sure you look at it where it's at and put it back in the same place. Cause you know, this print head moves back and forth and you don't wanna, you don't want nothing hitting it or obstructing it. Now bear with me guys, because I do have arthritis and 
It's raining today, so I'm on one of those, yeah, hurting me type of days. So this is not, okay, I just pop the corner off and I pull it forward. It should come out. This one should come out sideways. There we go. All right, so let's pull these out and let's see what we're looking, you know, looking at. Uh, let me pull this black one out. You see, guys, it's, it's pretty, I don't know, not sure if you can see that, but even though it's giving me, the liquid is still, I don't see any clogs or anything, but we're gonna pull it out. It's moving back and forth. I'm sorry if you see a glare, because this is a plastic on there. It's not leaking or anything. Um, the bottom, of course, is always gonna have uh, ink on it. It's always gonna have ink on it, so. Uh, I just try to keep it as clean as possible. Don't want to damage it, so I'm just dabbing it. Um, I will be sticking. I do see air in there, so I wonder if that's something that's causing. It, it might be that, guys. It might be that, they, you know, this just has air in it. And that could be my issue because I did do a sublimation print, and then I pretty much let it sit for three weeks, and I know that's not good to do. Yeah, my yellow channel is good, so I don't have to worry about the yellow so much. Um, yeah, I know that's not good to do. So I think I hurt my own. I should have actually, before I took the cartridges out, we should have moved these uh, these lines, take them out of the grooves, so that way we don't have a problem pulling them out. There we go, one more. Let me get this black out of here. All right, so let me pull these out. Uh, the magenta, I have one little tiny line that's actually messing with me, but it's not something serious. But I do see that it's not full down here. Like, well, I don't think any of them full, but yeah, see this one, they're all about halfway, but I'm going to try to fill that up completely. So that way we don't have no problems later on. Um... So I'll twist it up on me. See, the yellow's almost full. So that that's what that's got a couple air pockets in there, but we're gonna try to take that out. Black is a little hard to see, but I do see some stuff uh, actually sticking to the wall. So I'm guessing the black is actually a liquid that that's pretty thick, like like white ink on DTF. But We'll see. We will see. Yeah, it's messy, guys. So if you guys can wear gloves or whatever you want to do, I mean, I don't care. I I deal with grease, so this is nothing, you know, humongous for me. So, I mean, it looks pretty good in there. Um, the only thing I did forget to get was actually um, it's the foam swabs to actually clean around it in case there is a mess, but I have Q-tips, which when the time comes, because I know this is gonna get dirty anyway, um, I'll get the Q-tips and clean that. And this print head looks pretty easy to remove, guys. It's not, it looks like four screws and the whole thing comes up. Yeah, it looks like four screws and the head comes up. I'm not 100% sure because I never took one of these out. So, all right, first things first, I got a bottle here, guys, that I'm going to be dumping the excess, actually, the, the little 5 ml that came with the, what came with the kit, I'm going to use to actually see if I could pull from the lines. And uh, let me take this off gently. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to have to pull. I don't want this to squirt all over me. And, and yeah. All right. So it's not so bad. A little bit of a mess, but it is what it is at this point. I don't want to damage it. So I'm going to go very gently. All right. Very gently. And I'm just going to squeeze. I still got air somewhere. There we go. Yeah, I knew it was gonna do that. 
So let me just dump this in here. Now I know it's gonna catch some air and when I put the, when I put it back on the cartridge, I will pull the black out of the cartridge. So I'm not, like I said, I'm not too concerned about that. So let me plug this back in, being very careful. So I'm gonna do that to all these um, actually, let me just show you one more on the black before I change. Uh, so I wanna insert this just like that. And I wanna pull just to fill it up. I don't know if you guys can see that. I mean, sorry guys, I, I told you my arthritis is, is bad. And this little tiny syringe ain't helping me either. So, there we go. You have to angle it a little bit. But I wanna fill it up as best as I can. And I am taking air out of there, so that might be another reason why. All right, so that looks full there to me, that box at the bottom. Yeah, that box at the bottom is completely full now. And it looks liquefied, so I, 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 I'm I really uh, leaning toward that the clog that this has is in the actual print head. But once I do all this, I'll do a purge, a purge page, which will, if there is any ink that needs to be brought down, I'll do it there or I'll go, I, or I'll get the, I'll pay for the service pack or whatever the case may be. And, you know, do it that way. All right, so let me do these to all these, and when I come down to cleaning the print head, I'll bring you guys back. And so I cleaned all of them out, and I also uh, poured some of it um, back to make sure that all the dampeners were full. Um, I did fill up a little bit of the syringe that I used with the liquid. Guys, I'm gonna let you know now, if you are using the little tip that they use hold on to this because i got arthritis so when i pull back it does tend to want to push back in and i cross contaminated the clear liquid a little bit so now that i got this liquid here i'm going to make sure that that this air stays up top i'm going to put it over the cyan or cyan whatever you want to call it I'm gonna put it over there. Just go easy. You don't want to damage the print head. And uh, yeah, the line that comes with the, the kit, it's a little bit hard. So be careful guys. So what I want to do is I want to push. Well, first let me try to see if I can get all the air out of it. I don't want to push air in there. All right. so. As you can see, I'm pulling some of the um, the actual. So if there is some, so let me push some of the liquid in and then I'm gonna pull back. I just pulled back some of the, the ink. So if there was something stuck in there, it's loose now. As you can see the air coming through. So that means it's going through the head. So let me just push now the liquid in little by little. I'm not trying to force anything in. Like I said, you should see it on the napkin at the bottom. I'm sorry if I'm extremely loud. It's going in guys, I'm just doing it very slow because I don't want to damage anything. And like I said, once I get almost to that, uh almost to the end. I will pull back, see if you guys can see the blue is coming through. So that that's good, that's, that's great for me. Let me just move it a little bit because I don't want to get my rollers dirty. So now I'll pull back a little bit. So if there was a clog and it loosened up. All right, I think that's good because it, it really, just throw the excess out here 
and I'm also gonna change that napkin or maybe I should let the napkin sit at the bottom, I don't know. Like I said, this is my first time doing it. I do see the different colors in there. Yeah, let me change the napkin because I don't wanna get my printer all dirty in there. I should have probably doubled it, but I don't wanna make it too thick that's gonna you know, hurt the bottom of the, of the print head. So let me move it back over, holding it down. All right, so I'm hoping, they're saying sometimes that you have to let it sit for, you know, 24 hours with the, the cleaning solution in the head. I really don't wanna do that. So let me open up a new syringe. I'm gonna fit that right over it. And that's the way it's gonna look, guys. So now, because this is brand new, I'm gonna put it on here. Oh, uh, see, this is pretty big, so I'm gonna have to take this fitting off. Oh, there we go, okay. So I'm gonna tilt the bottle over, which I shouldn't do it by the printer, and I'm gonna pull. Now remember, it's gonna suck back, so guys, you don't let it, don't let it go, because if you let it go, it's gonna contaminate the, the cleaner. So I'm gonna pull about, do I get about five mLs in there? I am gonna go to the black channel and hopefully this air line, oh, see it's a little bigger guys. This uh, air line for the fish tank is a little bigger. So this is what I was talking about before. So I'm gonna put it right over the black. That's the one I'm having the most problem with. So I am going to push a little bit. I'm just gonna push it lightly. Oh, it did give me a little bit of resistance there, guys. Now, I am gonna pull back. Just in case there is a clog. There goes the black ink. I don't know if you see that. With a lot of air. Because this one's the one that's giving me a problem. Not the other ones. Let me just empty this out and then I, I grab some more so that way we, whatever liquid is going in there is going to be clean so now we are going to put this back on and we are going to push some through but if you see guys you see the black is going through see it let me see if I can bring it you see that it is going through I'm going very gently. All right, so that's the second one. Oh, yeah, this does make a little bit of a mess, guys. So I have Q-tips. I'm just going to try to soak that up so that way nothing overflows and it damages my, my print head. This is probably where those... Uh, foam swabs come into play so that's pretty much it guys now I'm gonna put this all back together and then I come back I let the the towel wet sit underneath for a little bit uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna remove that uh, paper let me slide it this way I'm gonna remove it okay so now that I remove that clean as best as I can just with a you know a paper towel just to soak up whatever's wet I don't want nothing wet in there so this is not going to damage anything here I'm really hoping that this liquid does work guys because uh, man I, I it just bothered me to see the the actual missing boxes it was it's a pain in the butt you know it's like you have something running so perfectly and then all of a sudden it just stops and that's that really gets me this blade over here i'm not sure if you can see that but um there's a blade here i ran uh, a q-tip with some a little dab of alcohol back and forth on the blade just to get any you know dirt off of it and look 
it's still still got dirt on it uh this i'm just gonna get a napkin uh maybe a dab of uh the cleaner and i'm gonna just dab it on top i don't want to mess with that too much because that actually goes to your waste tank so uh yeah going back to this so these are the channels that are coming down if these are full especially this main channel that's coming from here so if those are full you're okay so just make sure that you suck everything out of there this one right here is just a breather as you can see down here it connects but the line goes in here to feed so all of them are full even the cyan I, let me pick it up because it fell even the cyan is completely full there's no air in, in the, the line that's coming from there i am gonna put it all these back in all right so remember if you're unsure which way this goes just look at the front of the tanks it'll tell you the correct order so you will have uh black that's going on over here then you will have yellow or take a picture before you take it apart and you'll you'll see uh then i'll have magenta coming up next and then the cyan at the end so now that they're all there so maybe i will push them in you'll hear them click and they all seated so now remember i told you about the line guys i don't know if you guys can see this line that's the line that comes from factory so you want to make sure i'm sorry i'm blocking that this you want to make sure that it's level with this so i would just put it here like this as you can see it's level with that and then i would just start clipping them in i turned on the printer again and now it says the print head the print head may require maintenance because the printer oh, was not turned off co correctly. All right, so we're just gonna hit enter. Um, so far, I'm not getting any codes, which that's, that's beautiful. So before I do a nozzle check, I think I'm gonna do a purge. So let's print out a purge real quick. So like I said, the only reason I wanna do the purge is for the simple fact that I want the ink to flow. So I have regular clean paper back there just to get the ink flowing. And hopefully I'll do a nozzle check and everything comes out good. And if everything does come out good, we are golden. I didn't touch the yellow channel. So it started to print out the yellow and then it just stopped. So I'm guessing that it's trying to push the ink through. So I might have to do a pot, not, I don't want to say a power clean, but a nozzle clean, um, it does look like it has a small dot of black there. Maybe it might need a couple of purge. I'm gonna try maybe like two more purges and see that if everything comes out. If not, then this liquid will be a bust. All right guys, so I wasn't able after three uh, print purges uh, I was still not able to get any kind of color coming out of any of the uh, of them. No color at all. So I did a, with a soft cleaning, I guess, um, and then ran another purge and still nothing. So, because I'm thinking that it's completely empty inside the print head, I had to do what was called a power clean. So if you see it, the power clean, let it sit 24 to 48 hours, but I am impatient. So I wanna see if it's actually gonna give me some kind of color and then I'll let it sit for 24, 48 hours. Um, if something was gonna happen or something was gonna blow up, it would have did it as soon as I put the power in. So um, I, I didn't wet anything, so the only thing that I could think of that I wet was the bottom by pushing the uh, the syringe through, but I, I think it's okay. Um, I just think that the print head is completely empty, so I have to uh, do the power clean in order to refill that. 
Um, I know there's probably other ways to do it. Somebody told me uh, blow air through the, the, the tanks, but I don't want to take that chance if something breaks or something comes loose from the bottom of the tank and then I got ink everywhere. I would rather do it this way and later on buy a new maintenance tank. The moment of truth, I actually didn't wait the 24 hours. I waited only, only two hours um, after the power clean, which I didn't want to do, but I didn't know how else besides running 10 or 15 purges, which might not even solve the problem. <clears throat> so I did the power clean two hours later. I'm printing and I do see color. You see that guys? We see color. We see color coming out of it. That is awesome, guys. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. It doesn't look like there's any streaking. Guys, it did weigh some ink. Um, I was on yellow. I was at about three quarters on yellow, magenta, and cyan. There were three quarters. And the black was full. If I showed you guys before, look at this. So I wasted about a quarter of the ink on that power clean. About maybe... A half a quarter on all the other ones um, but she is printing she is printing in color so that's that's a great thing so I I would definitely consider this um, actually good to go so this uh, Wocock Wock, 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 whatever the hell you want to call it it sounds weird um, it actually pretty worked. It, I mean, if you got a main, main uh, clog, then I would definitely use something more concentrated and something more uh, professional uh, wise, but it's looking good to me here. Uh, once this finishes, I'm gonna do a nozzle check and then we're gonna see how that one looks. Now I am using the RGB settings. Now I see that there's like little banding and stuff like that, but maybe I gotta do a print head alignment again because i was doing it before without the printer being good um we are going to do a nozzle check exactly where we're at right now we're gonna hit okay we're gonna hit the print button see some missing channels here so that's not good i still will wait the um the 24 to 48 hours because remember it was just cleaned let's see i'll wait the 40, 48 hours and i'll come back here we are four days later I still can't get a good print nozzle check um, I went from the last one I did which let me see if I could fold it in half so that way you guys could see it better um, this was the last one I did this is the last one I did it was still giving me colors. The yellow was perfect. The magenta had one missing. Um, the cyan had three uh, blocks missing. And the black, of course, uh, got better, but it wasn't 100%. And when I print, if you guys see the top of the numbers, they are cut off. Um, if you can look at the numbers, the top of the numbers are cut off. Sorry if you guys can't see it, but. Um, so I decided to take the actual uh, cleaning solution and put it underneath. And I soaked it up a few times, took out the paper, soaked it up again, took out the paper. Once I started, you know, swiping back and forth a few times and I got the paper that was clear, just the cleaning solution, so I decided to say, you know what, let me soak it and let me leave it overnight. So whatever clog there is, it could break up, you know, overnight, 24 hours, and I'll come back in the next morning and, you know, do my normal routine, do the nozzle check and purge and try to get this going again. So uh, let me see which one's the last one so I can show you. So this is what happened once I did it. I got no colors. My colors were actually coming out black. So, sorry, that's my dog. 
That's my dog barking for no reason at all. Um, so, yeah, I have that one. I have this one. And I have this one. So, you know, some of the blocks got cleared up. So my nozzle check came out a little bit better. But it was printed all in black. All in black. So... The, my first thing to my head is like, wow, I let it sit there 24 hours, it got delaminated. It's ruined. So I came back in here, I started looking, and my actual, each cartridge was mixing with the black. So I got concerned. And I was like, wow, there, there's no way. So I took them out today, I took each color out, I cleaned it. I cleaned it the best I can. I threw the cleaner through the actual um, dampers. Um, I cleaned every single damper with the cleaning solution. I tried to let it dry out as best as possible. I threw new ink in there so it's nice and clean again. But it was mixed with black. It, this yellow turned brown. Yeah, it was a headache this morning and I just cleaned the head again. I'm gonna try it again but at this point, I don't think it's the actual head. I think I'm gonna try another uh, set of inks. Um, I was actually leaning towards the Hippo ink, uh, which is cheaper than the Cosmo, but I heard it's very good and it doesn't clog. Um, I also heard a lot about uh, Printer's Jack. I might, I don't know, I'm, I'm undecided between those two, even a Coil Dell or Coil Doll. Um, I, I really don't know which ink I'm going to go with, but if you guys know of a good ink to use, please leave it down in the description. Sorry for the long, long, long video. Um, this is, was my first time ever cleaning a head, so guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for staying with me. Please hit that subscribe button to keep up with me. Hit that notification bell so you can know whenever I post something new. And on this note, guys, be blessed. Stay positive. Peace.